We are really excited because it's almost summer and we're about ready to take our first trip in our cottage. Tiny house, prepper. Live simple, live free. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Tiny House Prepper. And like I said, it's almost summer and we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, almost summer. It's been beautiful weather <coughs> for the past week. It's been highs in the 50s and beautiful sunshine. Yesterday it was 70. Right now it's about 30 degrees and the boat just hasn't even broken freezing yet. And the wind is blowing. It's cold, wind chill. Where did summer go? I don't know. But anyway, it'll be gone soon. And in several weeks, we're gonna be taking our first extended trip in the cottage for a couple of weeks. So I got a bunch of uh, new toys and uh, upgrades that I've just gotten in and I'm putting that all together and I'm pretty excited about that. Now when we got back from our trip to Moab a few about a week ago, I discovered that they had actually piled up, plowed up a big pile of snow right here in front of our trailer. I was not happy. I couldn't even get the thing out. But it's been so warm the past few days that it's, as you can see, it's almost gone. This pile was probably waist high or about up to the top of the, the propane tanks there. Um, and it's gone in just a couple of days. Over there is another pile that was up above my head and now it's uh, about waist high so things are disappearing pretty quickly and soon we'll be able to get out of here and get on the road now last year last summer I've actually had several issues with the house battery on the trailer uh, one was that my truck just wasn't charging the trailer it's supposed to be when you drive down the road the the alternator in the truck is supposed to charge the trailer battery the house battery but that wasn't working. Uh, but <clears throat> not too long ago, I got a new he trailer hitch put on the truck. I did a video about this and I talked about that. I went to U-Haul to do that. And they just found that it was just a, a blown fuse on the, on the wire that charges the house battery for the trailer. So they fixed, they replaced the fuse and everything's good there. So that makes me very happy. The other thing is that I only had one house battery on the trailer and it wasn't very good. It didn't, char it didn't hold a charge. It would charge up and uh, it was barely enough to get the, the jack up and down. And if I ran anything inside like the heater for any more than about 20 minutes, the battery would be dead. So I just bought two new batteries, one to replace the, the old one that doesn't work, plus one other one. Hopefully it'll give me a little bit more uh, you know, power. Eventually we're gonna be getting a solar system for the whole thing. We don't have that right now because we're not going to be spending that much time in the trailer. And for right now, we're going to be mo mostly doing RV parks that have, uh, you know, full full hookups. Um, once we hit the road on a more permanent uh, situation, then we'll we'll look more at doing um, solar. So for right now, I'm just going to hook up these two new batteries, and hopefully that'll be all I need f for our upcoming trip. So here's the existing battery box and I've got room for one more battery right next to it. The battery here is already, it's at home. I had it, uh, you know, I took it home for the winter. Now I just hook up black to black. And 
and then I hook up red to red. Now the new one has this strap that came on it to hold it on. The old one, the strap is missing, so it's just got this. It's just got this bungee. I need to get a new strap for it. Now just fasten the strap on, get a new strap for this. I got two batteries now. I'm excited. I'm raring to go. And these will charge as I drive down the road and they'll charge when I plug it in when I have uh, the full hookups at an, at an RV park. I've also got a couple of other new gadgets and toys. I was going to show them to you, actually demonstrate them when I use them, but let me just do a unpacking and show you what I got. I'm also excited about the leveling blocks that I got. Last summer, when we took a couple of trips, I just had two by sixes cut short that I would put under here to level the trailer, and it was always guesswork. You never know how many you needed. You'd back onto there, you find out it's not enough, you got to pull forward, put another one on, back up again. It was a pain in the neck. So I got these, and I'm really excited about these. I've seen them demonstrated, haven't actually used it yet. You put that under there, and then you back up onto it until you're the right height. The further you go back, the higher it lifts your trailer. When you get the right height, then you just slide that one in, stabilizes it. I think it's going to be really slick. Excited to actually try it. And then I got what's called X-Chuck stabilizers. Instead of using these chocks to put under the wheels to keep the wheels from sliding, or to keep the wheels from rolling, this is an X-brace that goes in between the wheels, and then you tighten it up right here, and that does a much better job than this because it actually locks both of them in place. And like I said, I haven't tried this yet, I just got it. But apparently it also helps with the trailer not rocking because it locks these back, you know, locks the wheels in place so you're not going to get a little bit of movement like this <clears throat> when you're walking around in the trailer. Makes the trailer feel much more stable. So I got all of these tools. These new gadgets, I haven't used any of them yet, but we're getting ready to go. Now this is a leveling indicator, AccuLevel by Camco. You can see the ball in there shows you when it's level. You screw that right there, and then you can actually, as you're backing up the trailer, you can see this from the rear view mirror on the side of the of the pickup truck and when you use the leveling wedges underneath of the wheels then you back up the trailer until this shows level and you can see it from the truck so you don't have to keep getting out and going check it and back and forth I haven't used one yet but I'm excited to see how it's going to work and then once you get it level I'm slipping on the ice here once you get it level this way, then it also has a small level right there, so you can get level front to back by using the, the jack there to, to get it level. I think it's pretty cool. We'll see how it works. I also got some LED light bulbs for the interior lights. This one right here is the old, get it in focus, the old incandescent light. This is the new LED light. And when I turn on the light, you can really see the difference. The LED is white and the other one is yellow. From what I understand, even these small lights, interior lights, put a huge drain 
on the battery compared to the LED light, so I went ahead and changed it. And uh, those LED lights, man, they are really expensive. I went around looking for, for them online and they seem to run around $20 to $25 a piece for these tiny little things. I couldn't believe it. And I needed 14 of them to replace all of them inside the trailer here. But I found these on sale for, I think, $7 or something like that. So this is the first one I put in. I wasn't even sure I got the right one, but it's the first one I put in. And it actually works, so I'm happy with that as well. You can really see the difference in the color between the two when I put on the, the covers back on the LED and the old incandescent. I think this will be a better light, lighting, better color as well. And then the last thing that I got was this little set of, of pads. There's four of them. These go in underneath of the stabilizer jacks at each corner to keep the jack from sinking into the ground if it's, if it's soft. Now I know I could have just used some wood, that's what I was using before, but anyway, this is a nice pretty little package, so I got these two. So we are just, I think now, all set to go. It's still going to be a couple more weeks, but uh, we're really excited. So, of course, as always, we'll, when we do that, we will take you along. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me play with my new toys <laughs> and uh, get, getting this thing ready to go. So if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and, and don't forget to subscribe so you can actually see our future uh, travels. <clears throat> hey, you be blessed. Talk to you later.